Hey there Pisces, hope you are doing fab. This is Jamie. Welcome to Soul Find Guidance guys. I am excited to be back from my trip. I mean, I had a great time with the family, but it's always nice to come back to home and being in your space where you work and as always connecting with you guys. So we're checking in for your energies, Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. This is a timeless read. So let's see what is going on for you guys. First showing up is deceit. What is happening there? All right, let's, um, this is more past energy. We're going to do past, present, where things are going towards challenge, position, and then we'll look at the outcome and then clarify, guys. All right, so let's have a look what's happening. Thank you, Spirit, for our Pisces. We've got first chakra, Archangel Michael, showing up in current position. <clears throat> So this is a lot around your, uh, this is your root chakra effectively. So this is a lot more around your stability, your safety, where you're feeling, you know, connected and grounded. And then we've got journey showing up here. Okay. So th things are shifting guys, uh, in your challenge position, we've got the goddess of the moon and the divine guidance here uh, to support your journey, which it seems like you're going on, guys, is the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. So it seems whatever experience that you, you've been through here, Pisces, uh, is one that <clears throat> I think has has challenged, challenged your path forward, challenged your steps forward, more so with this deceit energy. I don't know if there was something particularly that you've been working towards wanting to manifest, but um, maybe hasn't fully come to fruition yet. And, or it's been like a hard work and labor, you know, working, 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 waiting for a result, waiting for a result. But if that is the case, what I'm seeing here is that there's some aspect regarding this situation that you're in. <clears throat> We're starting to see you ground into some form of truth and some form of understanding of what it is that you need to do for you. Maybe you're going to get some type of opportunity or, or um, connection that comes in that just helps you feel like, okay, I am supported. I am, you know, yes, the universe has my back, but it's now you're feeling it in real time. Okay, is what's showing up here along with the journey energy. It, something there's some direction or path that you're going that you're taking a leap towards. So this is an exciting one, but with the challenge showing up as goddess of the moon, this is kind of like part of the manifestation process. Okay, this is like the the Venus energy, the attraction energy. So there may be something here that, like I said, it's been a bit of a waiting game. Um, for it to come through, but we're going to further clarify. And then in terms of the guidance here is the heart chakra with Archangel Raphael. So maybe there's something here that's expanding, that's opening up that you're receiving in uh, or that you're allowing yourself to receive in. And I feel this is a big part of the guidance guys. Um, giving and receiving is, is, is an ebb and flow energy. Sometimes we don't realize that as part of our experience, we are not, um, we're great at giving, but we're not great at receiving. And I'm probably, you know, we can probably a lot of us put our hand up, uh, in regard to that because, you know, but that's a big part of manifesting being, being open to receive when something comes your way, you know, I receive that. That's really important thing. So let's have a look at this deceit energy and what spirit wants us to know. We've got the Empress showing up. Let's dive in. Thank you, spirit. I've got the seven of emotions, the death energy and the star energy. Yeah. So we can see this energy has been lingering around and it could be around someone um, or a situation where maybe someone's been trying to control something here, Pisces, um, or trying to tell you what you should be doing. And I think it's been a difficult situation with the seven of emotions showing up because maybe you've got your eye on something, but someone else is giving you some other advice, some other guidance that you do look up to, or who is an authority figure in your world. And there's this sense of, of confusion, but it seems like a part of this too, 
I'm just getting a bit of forceful energy. That's what I'm feeling here. So this could be, you know, accumulated with the emperor energy and this deceit energy together. You know, sometimes uh, we can deceive ourselves, not realizing that we're giving too much power to other people around us to make decisions for us. When we, there's a part of us that we know internally, we appreciate this person, we appreciate their guidance. And then there's this other side of, but I know what I feel and I know what I think and I kind of need to follow that because sometimes there's this part of regret that can happen when we're listening to other people and we know potentially there's something that we should have listened for ourselves. But there may be some form of opportunity or has been some form of opportunity that's put you in a sense of uh, where should I be going? I, I trust this person, but I'm not sure if I'm trusting that's how I feel and that's what I want to do, but I get their advice is great and they've got foresight and understanding, but also this is my life and I have my dreams, my hopes and things that I want to do. And somewhere along the path and journey, something has, the word is coming through is quit. So I don't know if this person has quit on helping or supporting your journey at, at some point here, maybe because you didn't take, you know, rapid action to what they wanted. I don't know. I'm just getting some sense of quitting and I'm not sure what that quitting is um, or who that's about or the situation in particular Pisces, but I just feel there had to be something that had to end or had to quit or had to stop because it wasn't in true alignment of what what it is that you wanted or were feeling in towards with this star energy. Okay. So this, that's um, what's coming on through here. Let's have a look at this first chakra energy uh, and see where we're at. Now, just remember guys, you could be on different timelines here. So take what resonates. If this is not your story, check out the other readings. Um, but we're fully back in action now. I tried to do as many readings as I could um, and get organized before my departure last week. Um, but like I said, I'm excited to be back here. Um, so I hope you're all doing well. And thanks for staying connected, guys. Uh, I appreciate you mu so much. And I don't think you may realize how much I appreciate you um, being here and, you know, being a part of your journey too. All right. <clears throat> So we've got the five of inspiration showing up here, which is a bit of conflicting energy. Okay. When it comes to where you're feeling grounded, where you're feeling good, where you're feeling safe. Um, the first chakra energy, while it's not the sacral chakra with that yes energy, it's still part of a very strong connection to our sacral of feeling safe and usually when we're feeling safe, when we're feeling supported, when we're feeling we're on the right path, we can create with more freedom, with more openness uh, and understanding towards something. So if this has been challenging you, I feel that's going to come to an end Pisces because the five inspiration is about that conflict of direction, where to go, what to do. This could be again in conflict with someone having their views on how things should be. And it's like, well, mine aren't the same. And if this is your life and your journey, it's kind of like, it needs to be congruent for you. So if that's been the case where something just hasn't fe felt fully supportive, uh, on your path and journey. This I feel is coming to an end. We're seeing the 10 of voices and the death energy. So maybe someone did have to quit telling you what to do. Like I said, I'm just feeling a little bit of controlling energy or like kind of their way, the highway. And I don't know if it's been in a, um, a bad way per se, but it's been a lot of pressure for you. Okay. Because you, I think you've been trying to perhaps please this person or because you look up to this person, you don't want to, you know, rough those feathers, but you also have to be honest with where you're at and how you feel. This muse of inspiration and nine of materials. I feel like once this part of, of whatever journey that you're on here, Pisces, and I love that the journey cards coming on next is that it's like, okay, I want to, I got to make a decision that feels right for me. And I feel once you do and, and kind of let go of those burdens or that, that challenge in your mind that you're going to start seeing things open up and action. It's like, you're going to get this bounce in your step, this fire lit of just like, okay, I know actually what I want to do and where I want to go. So there may be a little bit of cloud, a little bit of void at the moment, subject to where you're at on exactly what you're meant to be doing, but there's something there's some conflict that you're in. This could be an internal battle or, you know, with someone in terms of communication or what you're should be working towards. That's going to help. Now, once that clears out, 
you get a bit of breathing space. It's like you're going to be able to march forward, very sure of yourself and very clear on what it is that you're doing and where you're going. But it's like you're fully taking the reins here. And with this Knight of Materials energy, while the Knight of Materials can be slow in traditional tarot, this card is like what it has ever been slow is now ready to kick up and show and present itself. So whether this is a form of communication because you're starting to take action, the right people, um, the right pathway, it's like things are opening up. Uh, it's like a radar's going, you know, a radar's going off and offers and opportunities are coming on in to whatever it is that this situation is relating to, whether it's a relationship, a partnership, a business opportunity, a career pathway, you know, sometimes it's just having that right person show up, give you that right answer or that right opportunity. And it's like, yes, that's, that's what I've wanted. So anything that hasn't worked out, trust there's a reason why sometimes too and i feel those that are very entrepreneurial driven sometimes when you're putting yourself forward for something and it's not coming together it's because there's there's a little gap or a little connection that still needs to happen or occur for you to really set your path um so you know Again, it doesn't matter entrepreneurial or not, but I just feel a lot of those who are looking to start businesses or wanting to start businesses, there's this getting out of your own old way of doing and being and because that's what feels safe. And it's like, but you need to take this little bit of step, this little bit of um, assertiveness to really push forward on what it is that you want and where things aren't working. It's like spirit kind of saying, cause we just need you to take a little bit more of a step this way because that's what you actually do want. So we're setting the pathway for you. If we keep giving you these opportunities that you don't really, really want, it's like, what's the point? Let's get you where you need to go, but it's going to take a little bit longer if you know, you kind of, I don't want to say hiding behind it because, you know, I mean, but sometimes we can, it's a little bit of fear, a little bit of procrastination that's in the way of looking for other ways to make something work because we just feel a bit safer there. So journey energy, let's have a look. Muse of materials. <clears throat> what else do we need to know? I'm liking this guys. We've got the queen of inspiration. Knight of Voices, one more, thank you, and the sun, yes, I don't know about you, but this feels pretty fly, all right, I'm liking it, Pisces, for you, so, like I said, whatever seems to be opening up here that you're finally taking charge, going after the right news, communication, information, um, offers because material is a lot around offers, like making things happen. So there's a lot of happening, happening. <laughs> okay. Um, but now you've also got the muse of materials. So this is, I love this for you because this is very representational of getting into a place that you are feeling good about to take action towards that makes you just feel supported and heading in the right direction. So with the muse of materials showing up, this is now this financial aspect of giving you that sense of security in support of that too. So this is kind of like a double, um, a double win, I feel here, Pisces, of wherever you're taking this leap towards or this determination that you've got to, to go after something, okay? It's like the plans and you're putting them forth, like we said. So the materials energy, the music materials with this queen of inspiration, you're, I don't know, I'm just getting the word double. It's like you've got this double power, this double force working in your favor. So whether this is you as a whole or you as a whole and other people coming into uh, force, together to make something happen because financially opportunity, like it's here and it's showing up. But with this queen of inspiration, it's also something that you're attracting in. It's like the plans are right. Whatever you're doing here, there's just some beautiful magic happening with this night of voices and the sun. I don't know what you're calling in here, Pisces. It's just feeling super, super good. And this night of voices, it's like more news is going to keep coming through more ideas, more support, more something towards whatever you're doing, because the result mm -hmm. as we're moving forward is the sun. So the path is lit, the answers you are seeking, the guidance that you're desiring, whatever it is that makes you feel successful and that makes you feel supported, that makes you just feel like yes and free and good. That's showing up here with this sun energy. So Whatever's been happening, I think the key thing here is like listening to yourself 
as much as you've got guidance and support, this is great to have because it allows you to really look at things and assess things, maybe from different angles, different ways of doing something or going towards something. But you've also got this inner radar, which we see here that when you listen to that, uh, in, 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 like being grounded in that approach. It's like, you're going to know exactly what to do. And I think things are just going to start falling into place, but there may have been a void or a little bit of uncertainty, but I feel that certainty is coming through. The challenge position is showing up as goddess of the moon. So let's just get some further clarifier here on what we need to know with goddess of the moon energy. What do we need to know here? Thank you, spirit. Okay, so we've got the Page of Swords. So when we look at this challenge here, Pisces, this seems more so about whether you feel, um, I think in two parts, maybe you're questioning your outlook or something of something, um, whether you have enough information or tools or resources or enough like clout, like, whether you're trying to promote something, promote yourself. Um, there's something about the way that you're going to communicate or, or do something is what, what it's saying here. And I feel like you're questioning that whether you have enough pull, enough clout is what I'm getting to pull this off. Okay. Um, I guess that's part of our, our, you know, our belief system. But I think, you know, a part of this too is, using that power to find the right connections and people that are on like a similar pathway or a similar mission where you can both all support each other to, to make things, you know, grow and flourish, uh, in alignment together. If, if that makes sense. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm just feeling like a joint party, but there's something here around that. Um, and I do feel a part of this too is online, but you've got the tools and resources to do what you need to do. I think there's just a little bit of lack of, can you, can you do this? Can you make this happen? Uh, and sometimes things take time. It, it, you know, the most successful things in life are not overnight. They've been a part of your journey to where you are today. You may not realize that you've worked, you know, and learn a lot to where you are. And then when you level up, there's still things to learn, but you've got a lot of, you know, understanding, support, hindsight, foresight. So there's a lot of greatness that you're carrying with you. But as you get to the next level, of course, we're going to have doubts and fears, you know, um, it doesn't matter how much success that we've had, you know, you want to keep moving forward, but there's also that inner critic sometimes that creeps up or creeps in. But when you can leverage and remember, you know, the right people, the right places or start choosing the right things for you that are in alignment with your purpose will make a huge difference on your path and journey. Trust any red flags that come through as, as to ask more questions, to gain that clarity, to gain that understanding for yourself that feels right and in alignment for chakra. So we've got showing up the queen of cups. This is really interesting because with this fourth chakra energy, Archangel Raphael, I, I'm getting healing energy happening here, but apart, you know, I feel this is something, like I said, about being open to receiving, but this is part of your divine guidance. Okay. To help support this path and journey for you. So with this path and journey, Pisces, there seems to be some, um, either a person coming in. This is the queen of cups. Obviously we look at this as very strongly your energy, water energy, but I feel there's the, a person or a situation coming on in that, um, just has this, this part of themselves that gets you feeling I don't know, excited, but good, excited and safe, excited to be yourself, to do what you need to do. Uh, and I think you're going to have a very strong support person around you, or there's this element of you like recognizing how you can also feel grandiose in a sense of giving and also receiving in for yourself, filling your own cup because you're allowed to have that. And that's a very, um, 
prominent position with this queen of cups energy. She, she acknowledges that she's allowed to receive in addition to being compassionate, she still has boundaries, but she knows how to communicate it. That fills her cup up as well. There's this gentleness, but still this assertiveness in strength. There's also this warmth and understanding to what's happening around her. And I say her being a feminine energy. So there's just, there's just something special happening here um, for you. And and a part of it too is just remembering those elements of whether you're trying to get a resolve for something regarding a situation, a person. Um, if this is about too, like I said, you're probably fantastic at helping people giving, but you've got to be open to receive as part of this goddess of the moon, this is a lot about receiving attractive Venus energy. You've got to be willing to receive and, you know, whatever it is that you want to manifest also work into whether you do affirmations, journaling, and you have these desires and vision Pisces, it's okay to add on. I receive that to start opening up that portal. When someone gives you a compliment, you know, thank you. I receive that. Be okay. When someone offers you a cup of coffee, just acknowledging receiving that because I recognized through my own journey, I was saying a, no a lot to these kind of things happening. And I started being, you know what, I'm allowed to receive that. If someone, you know, I would go somewhere, someone would offer me, Hey, even if it was a glass of water, maybe I'm not super thirsty, but you know what? I do receive that. Thank you. And you know, just those little things start uh, making it easier to, to start receiving for yourself. And the more you receive, that's part of your manifestation process. So being open to that. All right, guys, I'm going to leave that with you. I don't have my angel cards here uh, right now as in the angel answers, but I just want you to know you are very supported right now and there's exciting things happening for you. I look forward to connecting with you soon and please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It does support us getting more out there, but more importantly, knowing that you're here and supporting your journey. It doesn't cost you anything. It just lets me know and um, I appreciate it. Speak to you soon. Bye now.